Hello, hello, how are you, everyone? This is Tomo. Thank you so much for watching Tomo Vista Music. Another unboxing day. So many uh, packages, <laughs> you, know, you know, a lot, but um, this is really fun. Thank you. So let's do it. Let's do. So, um, this is the box. So, can you tell what it is? Can you tell what it is? I don't know yet. So, let me see. I'm just curious. This is something that... Alright, I think I cut this. Yeah. Ah! As you know, I was in China for a while. Shenzhen. Shenzhen, you know, that's the first time ever I'll be there. I was um, last year I was in uh, Shanghai and then um, I'm going to go you know back in the there again but um, that was a great trip great trip yes so what do we got ah, that's what we got wow Like that. So what's inside? What's inside? You know. All right. This is fun. Wow. This is a really nice package because um, really um, you know, simple and very economical. You know, the shape. You know. So I go like this. All right. Are you ready? One, two, three. Perfect. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I like the sound. Da, 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 da. Little triplets there. Do you hear that? Okay. Yes. So, Schrumberg. Little bigger. I love the. I love the. Uh, see, I love gray. Gray color. And then this. What do you think? You know, and this. You know. I love to go to Sweden. Some wow, this is a, I didn't realize before. Oh wow! So like, look at this. See here. I don't know how to open this, but it's like wow, very secure. Put it here. Wow. So like. Okay, this is probably wow. See, you can see like you know you can put this. I can't really do. But anyway, so you touch here so that you know you know guitar is very secure. You know, yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. And I always find this a free percussion thing. You know, yeah, that's cool too. I love this case. Nice. A little bit earlier, um, Dexa was here, and we were playing a little bit, and then I went upstairs, and um, we were watching birds together. So now here, interesting. This is like <laughs> comes up like that. Then then. You know, attached here. Wow, this is what design. Look, I never noticed. Look at that. Oh, you pull out this. Oh, I don't know how to do that. I think pull out. Ah, I think. Yes, yes, yes. See? I pull out like that. And then. I think instruction there inside, you know, this way you can. Um, oh, I didn't know that. What's this? Wow. What's this?
Oh, is that a cover? For like raincoat? Really? Oh, wow. Oh, you can cover this? I didn't know this one. So, but, but um, this part, I think, I think, wow. Wow, this is a, I never ever imagined somebody make like this. Wow. You know? Wow. This this is something like you know me and Dexter we can play. So that this is like a design design for like a cat, you know, playing. What is what else in here? Wow. So this is great and then a little bit pocket. You can put something. Wow, this is a good design. Oh yeah, in the inside, there's a case, the, fa the fastener inside. Oh yeah, M multi tool. Oh, I didn't know that. Like, multi tool. And feel better sound feel better sounds better nice wow oh this is really great wow this is amazing ah so like a, how to change the strings and stuff maybe you know wow oh i see goes like that you know okay and like that I mean I met I met this guy <laughs> he's really cool I really think very innovative like you know design it's really wild design about the neck shape and everything you know I think really really cool yeah, I already forgot about guitar, but yeah. Wow. See? Th this is really cool, this multi tool. Wow. This is really a uh, cool design. Just like tiny, you see, like. In, in, you see like the um usually like these are tiny too like you know very easy to lose so like this is a, a very cool i love it i love it okay so and then and then this what's this What did it say? Happy ear ocean process. So this is like, you know, ear plug, I think. Yeah. So like, f everything like friendly design and environment, you know, nicely, um, you know, like kind of thinking about people's, you know, protection and all that. Yeah. Yes. Wow. This is where uh, this is a really cool picture too, and all, you know. He's pretty young, you know, having this um, amazing company, Sweden, you know. And uh, I always like this um, rubber band here. Here, okay. And uh, let's see. So like, you, I need your help though. I need your help a little bit, you know, because um, 
this guitar is a little bit um like different wow in tune It's really, do you remember that when I unboxed Bowden, six string, you know, Strandberg, and um, first impression of guitar is really, like, tiny, and I was expecting sounds a little thin, or maybe not vibrates enough because it's smaller body and no head, right? But even this, I don't know how to play seven string. How vibrant? I mean, really vibrates in my body, in my hand. Maybe if I can do this. Wow, so 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 I have to practice because this is really really different, you know. But really exciting because uh seven string. The other day I was teaching one of my Berkeley students how to do the slap and then purpose is just not, you know, be able to play slap but using slap to get, you know, a good time feel, you know. So we were working four different sounds like thumb, then and left hand hitting. Quite difficult to do because when you hit, too much hit or sometimes you know, press too much, then knuckle and hit the string. Then this is very important too. When you pull the string, you have to pull it with a hand. That's how you slap. A lot of people try to play with a finger like that. Then what happened is not so much speed. By the way, thank you so much, Norman. Norm's rare guitar. Last time when I was visiting this, they gave it to me. They, you know, yeah, they were sweet. Then I wrote the patterns like this. Quite difficult to do. So I play two patterns, okay? So this is not the lesson, but I wrote down these ideas 
to all my students. And、um, a cool part is like, you know, I wrote that patterns, it's end of 1998. That means earlier when I taught John Mayer, I didn't write that patterns. I was teaching him by showing him. So this pattern. Now it's written, so it's really easy to see what, what hands, which strings, you know, what order. But back then,、um, I didn't have. So that means John wanted to play that, but then I was teaching by, you know,、uh, showing him. So somehow, that, this part, that part, he couldn't get it right away. Okay? I thought eventually he would get it. But, but instead, he created. Different way to play that triplets, you know, and that's we always talk about to this day. Great limitation means if you cannot do something, you don't have to disappoint it about it, or you don't have to feel bad about it, you don't have to. Today, actually, I was teaching Tom Mish, same thing. I was trying to teach him a little bit flashy, you know, like a bebop phrase and,、uh, you know, triads、uh, application. And、um, I asked him, you know, when you jam, do you feel a little bit, you want to go a little bit more, you know, faster or something a little bit more tricky? And his answer was correct. I want something, but I can't hear. That's correct. If you can't hear, you can't go, you know. And,、um, you know, we, we like kind of the same thing. We like musical theory after the music to understand the music. But we don't like music theory. It's written like a very school like, you know, because he studied six month jazz theory at the school. And obviously, Berkeley, we teach. And sometimes you see, like, if you take harmony course or theory, it's written, it's very stiff language. And whoever wrote language of, you know, in that、um, theory, not really musical. So that's why you need to have a teacher who t r a n s l a t e that theory book into musical i d e a and how to apply. I'm talking a little too much, but. Anyway, bottom line is, I didn't have written so that John created his own way because necessary to do his own way because he felt he couldn't do it. Then that's fine. Same way, I feel something I can do. So I don't play fast, I play less. I play bends more because I don't, I don't do r e m y but so well, okay? Same way,、um, Tom Mish, he plays something and then, you know, anything too difficult, he, he doesn't want to bother, you know, that's what he said. So that's why I created him a little bit of flashy、uh, phrasing. So next, you know,、uh, live show, you hear those. <laughs> so the pattern. That's number one. This one, triplets. What? So, this guitar, I don't know how to use it, but I think, you know, just、um, my limitation will discover something. Okay? So, anybody who You can play seven strings guitar. Any advice to me here, please you know, write it down. Also, you can recommend me anybody good at it playing seven strings guitar. Can you write it down here so I can check them out? Okay. Thank you so much, s t r o n b e r g This is amazing. This is、uh, beautiful. Okay. 
really beautiful. <laughs> really, really beautiful. Amazing. Also, sounds really big. Wow, that's great. So I have to, you know, learn. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. If you like my channel, please subscribe. If you subscribe, you really see more fun videos. And you discover all the videos. Lately, amazing part is a lot of all the videos going top. That's really crazy. I mean, every week I post something new. But then that new video relates to all the video. Then somehow algorithm is great because just hitting all the videos to bring up and everybody watching my old video. That's really amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for subscribing Guitar Wisdom. I'm so happy, especially a lot of older people they, lately, 60s years or you know, 70s. And then one of them um, subscribers named Ken, he's a 70. He's posting, you know, really great walking bass line, uh, blue solo, you know, etudes that I made. And that's really fascinating to see uh, people really enjoying. Thank you so much. So that's it. See you soon. Take care. Bye.